my YouTube channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. And today, that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to get organised and I'm going to talk you through zone one, week one of my cleaning plan. So if you are somebody who really struggles with keeping on top of things, this is for you. You can download my plan down below and you can come and join the community. It is a really fun place to be. We are a bunch of lovely normal people with homes that will resemble yours. So make sure you subscribe to get updates. I upload every single Sunday. I would really love it if you joined the community. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, I designed my own planner because I had tried other people's planners, I'd taken bits that I liked, disregarded things I didn't like and I decided I would just make my own that would be much easier and then other people wanted to use it as well so I've turned it into something that you can download if that would be something you're interested in and how it works is every week we focus on a new area and it cycles around in a five week cycle and this week is week one again which is the kitchen and what we do is we focus for just 15 minutes a day in that area so just 15 minutes that does not take long at all it's not overwhelming but it gets the job done there are other elements of the plan that I will I'll link them down below so you can see like there's morning routine evening routine things like that but as far as the kitchen goes, I'm going to chart my progress over the week. So today is Monday, I'm going to be starting with the fridge because it really needs doing. And then as the days go by, up until Friday, you will see the different things I get done in the 15 minutes. So the reason I want to start with the fridge is because it was Grace's birthday a couple of weeks ago, like last week, actually it was last week. And I had to remove a shelf to fit her cake here and then I never put the shelf back and it sort of descended into madness like I don't think it's ever been this untidy there's stuff if I show you there is just stuff balanced on other stuff like this might look normal to you you might be like yes my fridge is just the same mine never looks like this this has stressed me out but I just haven't had time to to do it so today I'm gonna transform this into a nice neat fridge again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take everything out. There will be some out of date stuff there and yeah, just get it all out. Then I will clean it and then I'll put it back and I'll show you what I like my fridge to look like instead. I must just tell you about this. I bought this last Christmas with the intention of making my own mince pies and I never made them, but it doesn't go out of date until next August, so I've just kept it. I'm gonna make them this year. I've also got so many <laughs> bottles of ketchup. It's ridiculous. That is so much better. I am not gonna bother with that up there. It never gets dirty. It's just literally where all our cow poles and stuff live, but everything else is emptied out. I'm gonna give it a wipe down in a second. But I do want to say, there will be people out there who will be like, hang on a minute, I've just been looking at what's in your fridge and there's an awful lot of plastic in there. I'm going to just be honest and say I have really struggled the last probably three weeks because of Grace's party. I totally dropped the ball on going to the green grocers, going to the butchers and everything. And I'm human and it was much easier for me to buy things that have just come from the supermarket uh, and they do get wrapped in plastic. We don't have, like a Morrison's, they're really good, aren't they? They cut down. All of our local supermarkets still have plastic wrapped stuff. So yeah, hands up on that one. Convenience has meant the last few weeks I've really struggled, but I'm winding it back down and the next shop I do, I will be back on that. But I just wanted to just say, because I know there'll be people who'll be like, oh, you, you do plastic. I'm a human being, so, you know, can't do it all, can't be perfect all the time, if ever. That only 
took me 15 minutes. It is quick job. It's just something that you think, oh, I can't face doing it. But if you just set yourself a timer for 15 minutes, take everything out, give it a wipe down, sort out the stuff that has expired, which there was quite a lot in there. Like I said, the last three weeks has just gone to pot. The whole thing's gone to pot trying to sort out that birthday party. Real life, real life happens. Don't be hard on yourself if you do lose track of it all. Like it happens to everybody. Put it all back in now see this is much more organized i've got all like medicines and stuff that i will be using very often up the top i've got the vital like treks i've just discovered treks this is great it's a dairy free alternative um to baking uh cheese wraps some ham there that hasn't gone off i need to use that up though otherwise it is going to go off and some leftover baked beans some jam and then yeah some tuna and some sausages that didn't get eaten yet and yes some still some plastic there but like i say once that's used up i will i will go back to it um and then clean them out put some kitchen roll back at the bottom of those because the vegetables just like if they sweat and that gives off like a gunk a bit of kitchen roll in the bottom order is resumed today i'm going to sort out the cupboards down here i'm going to transfer some of the things that are up top like the children's plates bowls and cups i'm going to bring them put them down here at their level so that they can get their own breakfast in the morning like if it's cereal if it's toast i'll put the toast on for them i'll probably keep plates up top so i don't have to bend down but i'm just going to put everything down on their level so that it is easy access for them because they're able to make their own drinks now not william um but i can get the girls to do it <laughs> so the first job is just to pull everything out and at the moment these cupboards are used for cereal and tupperware and i don't really know i haven't really thought out what i'm going to swap to go with it because i don't really want tupperware up there um i'm gonna pull it out and see how it goes really more difficult than I thought it was going to be and um, I've only got five more minutes left so I've got to really speed this up I've, I've run out of time but I actually have more time so I'm gonna just carry on quickly um, but these plastic things I don't really know what to do with. We have so many water bottles. Um, I think I'm just gonna give them to charity. We don't, we don't need them, they're fine and they've got little initials on them. So I'm just gonna give them to charity and they can just sell them on or send them on the place that we don't need so many water bottles. Um, but yeah, otherwise now I've got a nice grown up cupboard and all the children's stuff is, is under here and stuff that they can have access to. So I'm pleased with that. But yeah, I'm just gonna bag these up and that'll be my 15 minutes. Done. so today is thursday yesterday was such a busy day that i just didn't get to do my 15 minutes and that is the beauty of spending a whole week in an area rather than like monday is kitchen tuesday is a living room thursday is whatever like if you spend a whole week it doesn't matter if you skip a day because now i'm just going to do half an hour i'm going to do two lots of 15 minutes today because i have an easier day today to get it done and that just takes the pressure off of me having to oh my god i've missed a wednesday like it really doesn't matter so today i am going to clean the windows that's going to be my first 15 minutes and then for the second 15 minutes i think i'm going to clean my oven top one that people put 
off because they think, oh no, washing windows is too difficult. It's not, it took me like two seconds. They're not perfect, but they're clean. minutes of the week it is friday today i don't do it over the weekend so it's just five lots of 15 minutes you have to excuse the noise the dishwasher is going but today i am going to tidy out one of my drawers i don't know what it is with kitchen drawers they just accumulate rubbish i don't know where it comes from but this drawer hasn't been done in a very long time like there's always other stuff that needs doing in the 15 minutes but this month the kitchen seems to have just sort of taken care of itself so i'm going to focus on this drawer. This is our drawer of doom. Um, it just seems to be the place where everything gets thrown into and it's also where we keep the kids cutlery um, but I think I'm going to start keeping their cutlery in the main drawer of cutlery now and just organize this better so I'm going to take everything out see what we've got. baby stuff that I'm just gonna well either bin or if it's useful I'll give it to charity and then I've got a pile of stuff just to go in the bin just like old um, sterilizing tablets and stuff like that and just random odds and ends much better 15 minutes done I hope you've enjoyed following along my 15 minute burst and I hope that it's inspired you to spend 15 minutes a day in the area that you are focusing on. So this week was the kitchen, next week is gonna be the living room diner and I'll be doing exactly the same process, 15 minutes every single day or two lots of 15 minutes if I do have a particularly busy day, but that's okay. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you next week, bye.